This tutorial is going to cover using the Doc Reader in Brightspace content area. All right, once you have logged into your course, you go to Content. And right here, I wanted to point out Word documents and PDF documents will be exactly the same for the Doc Reader. Uh, web pages or HTML uh, types will have a different look, and we will cover the two different types. First, let's start with syllabus a DOCX file. When selecting this page, Brightspace will open up the document in a reading window. If you scroll to the bottom of that reading window, there is a button open with Doc Reader. Once here, it will open up another window for you. And we have a list of tools, and I will work these from left to right. I'm going through them all, and then we'll go into more tools and go through those as well. All right. First, the sidebar. This button here turns on and off the sidebar, which will give you a bigger reading area. If you go straight down from the sidebar down to here, you have the ability to increase and decrease the size of your text. Next, we'll turn the sidebar back on. You can also use this sidebar to jump the different pages, or you can jump the pages using this tool here. A third way to scroll through pages is using these buttons. Okay. Next, if I go back to page one, for example, and just select listen, the reader will start reading from top to bottom. If I hit stop, come down here, select some text, and then hit listen, it will read this. All right. Next, layout mode. This one here is the default. It will have all the formatting uh, displayed to you. If you go to text mode, it will remove all that extra formatting and strictly make it text. More tools. Here, gear icon is your settings to customize how you want to use the doc reader. One of the, the nice things, this has been a, a common request, is to change how Doc Reader displays the text. You can increase and decrease the size. And by selecting text colors, black on light blue on black or blue on light yellow, it will change this and help reduce some of the eye strain from a really bright screen. All right. You can obviously explore and see what works best for you. Uh, for the sake of this tutorial, I'm just going to change it back to black and white. All right, next is a reading window. This will track your mouse. You can see as I jiggle my mouse up and down, it tracks that. And I can decrease and increase the size here. Next one is the reading ruler. Just to help read large amounts of text, this is a very nice tool. And I can make it bigger or smaller. Highlighter. Select a highlighter and let's say yellow on this piece, blue on this section. And this can help you organize the type of things that you are highlighting. All right. I have the ability to turn off the highlights if I choose or turn them back on. In here, I can collect and download the highlights, clear page highlights, clear document highlights, which would clear the uh, highlights from all the pages, and I can show highlight borders. And right here will indicate the type of color that is associated with the borders. I'm going to collect and download these highlights, so I can show you what that looks like. Entire document color once I do that it will download them as such which is a very nice tool for helping to organize the content right now I'm going to go ahead and
clear the document highlights and now they're all gone. Here I can download a mp3 of the page. Okay, and download. This might take a second. Course title, course number, and section class meeting time. S and location. S semester. Note. All right, that's fairly self-explanatory. And then you can also download uh, the document as well. All right, uh, let's go over back to the module. And let's look at what an HTML document looks like. It's a little different, not quite as many features, but still useful. Uh, it will read from the top to bottom. I'll go ahead and select that. And it will highlight the, in a similar manner. Okay, I'm going to stop that. Left to right, here's speaker volume. Here's settings. You can have a text highlight and highlighting options, word and sentence, as it's uh, reading, or you can choose uh, some different options, sentence only, word only, or no highlighting. Uh, word color, uh, whatever color sequence that you want to use, and you can even underline. You can speed it up, automatic scrolling, and pop-up button. Here, you can also download it as an MP3, uh, so you can listen to it that way as well. All right, that is, uh, in a nutshell, the Doc Reader in Brightspace. If you do have any questions, uh, there is, um, let me go back. I should have pointed this out beforehand, but we're going to just get back into this real quick here for you. I wanted to show you that there is some information that goes into uh, explaining the doc reader in more depth. There are some uh, help documents here that you can access within uh, the doc reader site, and they will explain in further detail how to use it. All right, if you have any further questions about the doc reader, uh, you can contact us in the, in the Office of Teaching and Learning Excellence. We're in the basement of Callan Hall, room 110. Thank you.